Okay, we're going to be unboxing the Briggs & Riley 21-inch carry-on expandable spinner. One piece. This is how it came. This is the black. Let's take a look. I ordered this because I needed a carry-on and Briggs & Riley had their Black Friday sale. Pretty nice. Um, I feel I've never seen their luggage. I used to do Eagle Creek because of the warranty. I looked at the warranty of Toomey. I looked at the warranty of Briggs and Riley. And, you know, they have a lot of locations where you can take everything in. So it's like a little Apple store for their luggage, um, even though they're doing it through many third parties. But that, that, that makes sense for me. It makes my life a little bit more seamless. I'm not searching for a place if I have a problem. And with travel, you often have a problem. I opted for black. They've got a couple colors. This is the international 21 inch. I think the domestic is a 22 inch. Um, it can make a difference when you're flying, but it's really, really subtle. The difference um, of the international to the US 22 inch. Um, the I, I would have honestly purchased the 22 inch, but they didn't have any more. They were out of stock. And it's also, it's a secondary bag. That one inch wasn't going to make a drastic difference to me. So I opted to go with the 21 inch. Um, okay, so let's take a look. Um, here we go. They're identical bags. Um, the primary difference, I think, is just that one inch. Um, I also had them engrave it. They put something right here. You don't need to know me, really. Just radio flag. Like and subscribe. Leave tons of comments. So nice engraving. It's cute. You know, they etch everything in. It's etched. It's not colored. It's just etched. I don't know if they gave me a choice or not. I didn't want anything with a battery built in because, you know, they give you such a headache if you're taking it on the plane. They want to know that it's not operating and stuff like that. But it does have a case for you to put a battery in here at the back which is pretty cool um let's see telescoping okay comes up pretty high wow that comes up really high let's see let's take a look at how high that comes up this comes up about 23 inches from here to here about almost two feet. Wow, it is exactly two feet at the fullest extension. And then it has a second spot, which is about 17, and even has a third, which is really good. And that is about 15. Wow. And then locks down, has a little bit of padding here. This is a sturdy piece of luggage. I, I used to be an Eagle Creek guy, but you know, they belly up, so can't. I didn't want their fixed um, battery compartment. Uh, this is not uh, etched in. It's just like on top, but it's, it's a carry-on. I, I don't see the difference, really. The one-inch difference is not noticeable to me right here. Let's take a look. Okay, lots of paper. Let me recycle that. That's nice. Um, let's see. Oh, more paper. That's cute. Okay, compartment here. That's really nice. Opens up easily. Got a compartment here, which is also nice. I'm not sure exactly. Oh, that's just an expansion. Very good. Two zippers, one on each side, which is pretty nice. What's this now? Okay, it only zips from there to there. And then more pattern. Okay, I definitely like the pattern. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, it's a little awkward to get your hand in here. It would probably be better if it extended over further, but well, my luggage designer. Um, but you can put some stuff in there. It's not going to fall out. Maybe that's why they didn't go further. So it looks a little bit like teeth. Sturdy. I don't know if it's plastic or metal, but they seem really sturdy. And the warranty. That's the biggest thing. If you have a problem, supposedly they'll fix it. 
um, even if there's a cost, at least you know somebody's going to fix it, and the cost is generally going to be less than the luggage. Um, I just don't want to search around or have to buy some luggage again. So this looks like it's, okay, that's the zipper. Wow, okay. Has engineered for reality, guaranteed for life. New. I guess they've done something new to it. This is the ZDX, um, blurring line between business and leisure, casual, sophisticated collection for travel bags that provide easy, dynamic movement with a simplistic yet stylish aesthetic, um, resilient fabrics, textured blend with high upgrade hardware to deliver the utility needed for world travel. Okay. Hmm. So far, so good. Okay. Hmm. This is interesting. Oh, so this is kind of their Briggs and Riley. Each authentic, okay. So it has one of these unique um, identifying things, just like uh, to me. So, and you have to register it. Okay. Silco, whatever that's called. This has a zipper. That's pretty cool, giving you at least more compartments. Um, this is interesting. Gotta get that out there. This has a little bit of elastic. So it becomes like a compression thing to hold everything down in place so it doesn't bounce around. For a small bag, is it really necessary in a small bag? I guess it can help in a small bag, but is it like a must-have? I don't know. So this is just, well, let's not talk about what people are putting there, but it opens up all the way around, so I guess for repair, um, this opens up. There's got to be a zipper in here somewhere because there's a zipper lining inside. Um, pretty sturdy. Let's take a look at inside here. Okay, this doesn't go all the way around. Interesting. That's different. Instead of going all the way, it's doing like 75%. Or, no, really half. Okay. Let's see. A little manual. I guess you'll want to see what's on the manual. No, it's not a manual. Let's see. Just like uh, to me. So, and you have to register it, okay, Silco, whatever that's called. This has a zipper. That's pretty cool, giving you at least more compartments. Um, this is interesting, got to get that out there. This has a little bit of elastic, so it becomes like a compression thing to hold everything down in place, so it doesn't bounce around. For a small bag, is it really necessary in a small bag? I guess it can help in a small bag, but... Is it like a must-have? I don't know. So this is just, well, let's not talk about what people are putting there, but it opens up all the way around. So I guess for repair, um, this opens up. There's gotta be a zipper in here somewhere because there's a zipper lining inside. Um, pretty sturdy, let's take a look at inside here. Okay, this doesn't go all the way around. Interesting. That's different. Instead of going all the way, it's doing like 75%. Or, no, really half. Okay. Let's see. A little manual. I guess you'll want to see what's on the manual. No, it's not a manual. Let's see. Thank you. Okay. Give you some pictures. Um, I guess this is for the folks that have the smart device. I don't because they seem to freak out about these things on the plane. Um, let's try to open this up and figure out what this is without destroying everything. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. Hmm. Okay. There we go. And this is some kind of seat belt. Okay, let's move this up here. Um, okay, this has to come up and then out. Okay, oh, this is just giving you extra space. Now, let's zip this up closed. Zip on both sides, has a little lock there for that. I'm thinking. that this is, if you want to attach, oh, I got it now, here we go, 
Let's see. This is, I guess, their thing. Mm. And if you want to attach, like, a, you know, you're running through the train station or the airport, you want to attach a bag here, you can seat belt a bag in. It's a nice idea. It works. I mean, uh, that's warranty. This is plastic. That warranty is good. But most important, extends really high. We'll take a look at the wheels in a minute. Um, has the second setting. Feels kind of pretty sturdy. Sturdy enough for the price. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four. Okay, if you do it really fast, you'll go right through the fourth one. So you got to kind of make sure you hit it. There we go. See, when you press, if you can see it, there's one, there's two, and the lowest one is all the way at the bottom. But you gotta make sure it locks. If you try to do it too fast, sorry about that, you'll go right through it. You'll miss it. You gotta do it kind of slowly. That's the only thing that would irritate me a little bit is that I gotta kind of find that little one. I can't just seamlessly find it. Or maybe you can, come up. Yeah, you just gotta learn how to use it. This, I don't think I would ever use this, but it's nice where you can stick something. It's supposed to be for a battery, for your phone charger. Um, I didn't want one that had one built in. Uh, this is cute. It's cute. If the need ever arises, carrying stuff on your back isn't great all the time. So it's a nice necessity. This, a little awkward to get your hand in. Um, let's take a look at the spinners. Um, not necessarily the sturdiest wheels I've ever seen, but I think they will get the job done. And there's another case here, but with the warranty, you know, take a trip to the mall. They're, they're, they're not like cheaply made. They feel pretty firm. It's not like plastic or 100% plastic. It feels like a little bit of rubber around the plastic. And you seeing if there's any metal in here. It might be. It's not bad. I wouldn't say it's bad, but let's take this off. And we'll see. I'll give you an after action going on a little trip. So I'll let you know how it works out. And hopefully this helps you.